So I've been using the Canon 90D for the past three weeks and when I first did my review on this camera, I really only used it for stills. I was on vacation in Hawaii and took a lot of still photos with it and even though the image quality was great and so were the colors as I can expect from a Canon camera, I just was not impressed with the DSLR experience. The whole placement of buttons and the way they interacted this camera to me just feels really archaic compared to mirrorless cameras. So I wasn't the biggest fan of this camera for stills, but I've been using this camera for video over the past couple of weeks. And my opinion of the Canon 90D when it comes to video performance is much, much better. I think this is a fantastic video camera and I've been really surprised at how much I love it in terms of both image quality and autofocus because dual pixel autofocus is pretty darn amazing. And of course the fact that I can flip this LCD screen to the side and actually see myself as I'm vlogging, that has been a really big game changer. Now in terms of lens choices for the 90D, last weekend I was able to get the 11 to 18 millimeter lens but unfortunately someone else had the same idea that I did and they rented that lens right before I got to the camera store so I ended up with this 10 to 22 lens instead even though this 10 to 22 lens might seem like a better deal because it's better made and even costs a little bit more I really prefer using the 11 to 18 because it was lighter weight even though it was plastic as a result but it also had image stabilization I've noticed with this 10 to 22 in particular that it seems a little noisy as it's trying to find focus so if you do choose to vlog with the Canon 90D, I think that the 1118 is the way to go in terms of a lens choice. And this Rode Video Micro has been a really awesome microphone just to keep this camera kit really small. You could also add the Rode Video Mic Pro if you're looking for a slightly better audio experience. So on the whole, do I recommend the Canon 90D? I would say that if you're primarily a video shooter or you're looking for a really good hybrid DSLR that can shoot both stills and video, then this is a pretty good deal. I would definitely get the Canon 90D as long as I'm shooting mostly in outdoor conditions or in bright light conditions. I think with low light, full frame is still the way to go, but for an overall camera that shoots outdoors and does really great video, and even vlogging. The Canon 90D is a really great deal and I would highly recommend it. So we're here in Tacoma and we're trying a new form of vlogging here. We're actually doing the traditional form of vlogging. We have the 90D with the 10-18 to lens and we did this because someone recommended that we go with a super wide lens with this camera. So we're gonna see what it's like to actually vlog with it. It doesn't have IBIS but it has this thing, I see I already gotta use it with two hands now. Yeah. It has this thing called like enhanced image stabilization in the camera and there's also IS on the lens so we'll see how good it does in stabilizing but the enhanced image stabilization already cropped so much that two of us can't fit in the frame to vlog so it's exactly. kind of weird so we'll see how it goes <laughs> so yeah this is really interesting I've actually never vlogged like this and I've always wanted to give it a try and see if it was worth the hype and so far, of course, this is a much bigger, uh, not so inconspicuous rig. You get a lot more people kind of staring at you as you're filming like this. But, and it does start to weigh on your arms a lot because it's a lot heavier. But I do actually wonder about the image quality to see if it's any better than, say, a camera of this size, which is the camera that we have been using to do a lot of videos like this. And obviously there's a really big size difference, but now that both of these cameras shoot 4K and have you know wide angle lenses built in, uh, I think they're pretty comparable. So right now we do have the Rode Video Micro plugged in. And so I'm assuming that our audio is going to be pretty good, but I did notice that, you know, built into this camera, the 90D, there are some, you know, wind filters. So I think I'm going to unplug this microphone because we do have a light breeze coming by and we'll see what it's like shooting with the internal microphone. All right, so I've now unplugged the Rode Video Micro and just have the audio settings set to auto. So this is what the audio sounds like with the internal microphone, no external microphone plugged in, and I don't believe the wind filter is on either. So we'll see what this sound is like as, a, as the camera is straight out of the box. Okay, so the external mic is still unplugged, but I went ahead and turned uh, the internal microphone over to manual settings. So the wind filter is now on, and we'll see if this camera can pick up my voice pretty well without an external microphone plugged in. <laughs> 